So I was wondering, like, do you ever see yourself making potentially like a full English album? I'm not sure. Because your English is pretty good. It's, it's my first in interview in English, though. I, I gotta say, yeah. Oh, not, not a BG show exclusive. Yes. <laughs> we love an <it> exclusive. <laughs> yes, I just learned English to do, to do this. All right now. Hey, welcome to the BG Show. I'm your boy BG, and I dare you to guess which city we are in right now. Take a guess. And no, it's not Toronto. No, it's not Ottawa. No, it's not Vancouver. We are in Montreal. Hopefully that accent was okay. But first, I need you to do the homework. Subscribe to this channel right now. Tap that notification bell, and don't forget to follow us on all of the social media. Also, share and comment below. Okay, so here we are in La Belle Province. There's a lot of culture here. And did you know there's a hip hop culture, a massive rap scene? In fact, we actually have a Hennessy conversation for you where we're gonna highlight one of the biggest francophone rappers in Canada. His name is Lau. Wow, welcome to the Brandon Gona Show. Thank you, thank you. We're so excited to be here and thanks for welcoming us into your home. My pleasure. You know, I got to tell you this story. Uh, we were in actually an Uber on our first night here, yeah. and the Uber driver was playing 56K. I said I just woke up avec la vie dont j'ai rêvé. Roule le papier contre le papier, jamais le mauvais. Instant five star. <laughs> But oh. we knew that you were massive in Quebec, but like literally we didn't know we were going to encounter your music on our first night. Yeah, like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Talk to me, like how does that feel, like to see what you've accomplished? Uh, man, that, that's, that's a big question. Uh, of course, I'm super grateful mm -hmm. for, for everything, but I, it's like I live in it like, all the time. So it's, I think sometimes I, I don't really realize that. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe when I, when I get into the Uber, they don't play the song. <laughs> <laughs> They, you know, I mean, it's it's much bigger than what I thought was mm -hmm. uh, possible, and I don't I don't say that like in a cheesy way, like wow, this is bigger than the, than, than my dreams. But I didn't know that was possible here. To yeah, do, like to have like uh, a significant success in doing rap music. Well, we're gonna get into it because I want to know like your journey. I want to know your story. Yeah. So like, I'm from Toronto, right? Yeah. You're from Montreal, like Quebec. What is it like being a French rapper in Canada? Uh, man, I, I think it's really a, 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 we, like a scene in itself. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, especially in my case, because I, I rap in French, right? Yeah. And, and a lot of people in, in, in Montreal rap in French too. So we don't really have that direct uh, connection with the rest of Canada in mm -hmm. some ways. Like, you can appreciate the music just for, for what it is, but I think in, in, when it comes to rap, if you don't understand the lyrics, mm -hmm. like if you don't speak French, you can't really connect with it. So we kind of have like our own world and uh, we tend to just exist with, within it. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm really like a, a Montreal <laughs> rapper and, and, and I'm a rapper in Quebec, but I, um, as far as Canada, um, it's, it, we have yet to like cross those, those borders, I think. Well, I want to talk about like if you have plans to do that, but let's talk about our audience, because our audience is, you know, in Toronto and across yeah. this country, yeah. English speaking primarily. Of course, yeah. So let's talk about your name, Loud. Like, where did that come from? Uh, that's just a name that I got uh, when I was like 15 or something like that. It used yeah. to be Loud Mouth. Oh. Uh, it was like, in the, the, the angle was more, more so like a, a battle rap name, because yeah. that, that, that was what I was into at that time when I picked that name. Because I, I actually, my first name was Bless. And uh, I didn't know the actual Bless. There's a yeah. rapper in Montreal who's, who's called Bless. And he, he had some, like a real success after that. And at some point, some, one, one of my friends told me, uh, I think I, I, I just saw a video of a guy he's called Bless. And I think he's from Montreal. And he's like in a video with Gangstar and everything. <laughs> and I, so what's your actual name? Simon. Simon. Yes. OK. Yes. What, what was wrong with Simon? I mean. <laughs> You know how it is. <laughs> I like Simon. And your last name is Trudeau. Yeah. Are you related to Trudeau? No, I'm not. Because <laughs> no. I was about to say, that would have been yeah. really sick. Yeah, yeah, that would have been crazy. No, I'm not related, <laughs> not related to the airport uh, yeah. uh, as well. No, yeah, I'm not related to uh, Justin. 
That's crazy. You yeah. should you, you can play that off sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, like, maybe I should use it. Yeah, yeah. yo, PM. <laughs> you and I are cousins. That's my track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk no. to me. So you used to, you know, from 15, you were doing battle rap? Yeah, stuff like that, yeah. Like, how did you get into rap? Like, was it like something that like a family member introduced you to or you just kind of resonated with the sound? No, not a family member at all. Uh, like, nobody in my family is even into music. Really, I just got into it uh, as a fan. Mm -hmm. When I was like 13, 14, I got really uh, like serious and, and, and to, uh, more so as a fan, I got obsessed with it, I, I, I could almost say, uh, and just the music and the culture. And I think I got a good grasp on it, like on how it was made early on. Well, I, at least that's what I thought. Yeah. I was terrible, but I, I thought I got it, you know? I always took it too seriously, but not too seriously, but... But what do you mean I, too seriously? Time, like, were you in your bedroom, like, every day after school, like, writing lyrics and stuff like that? Yeah, kind of. And, and, and when I mean I, I took it too seriously, like, maybe in com comparison to other guys, uh, mm -hmm. I was doing it with... In my mind, we were on, like, on a career path, right? That was, yeah. like, it was, like, se that's serious. And to other people, sometimes, it's just, you know, it's just a hobby. It's just uh, something that's nice to do. It's, it's a cool thing to do, especially mm -hmm. in high school or... or at the time or, or, or whatever, but nobody thought like mm -hmm. about um, making this like a, a, a career. Yeah. Uh, but but I, that was always my mind state. That you were going to make this a career, you're going to make this work. Yeah, I, I, it was already my career, even yeah. though it was not making any kind of, uh, of money until a very, very long time after that. But yeah. like, we were just working on our uh, discography in my mind. It yeah. was not just like a fun thing we were doing. It was, it was the start of like our careers. So like, where did you grow up? I don't know Montreal that well. So like, you know, like, yeah. like where in Montreal did you grow up? I grew up in Ansic, it's called. Okay. It, it's like in north uh, of Montreal. What was that like? Like, what is that neighborhood like? It's a bit remote, like from, mm -hmm. the, from the action. So yeah. I, I guess uh, up until I was like, uh, maybe like 14, 15, uh, I just stayed like in, in Unsick all the time. It's, if it can feel like a suburb in some yeah. ways, just because of the, the distance from downtown and, and everything like that. So we had like our own little, little thing going on and uh, our own little culture. I would love to know like, who's your rap inspiration? Like if you were to name top three in your book. Inspiration? Yeah. And that's, a, that's, that's a tough one. Um, well, I mean, the obvious one is Jay-Z, yeah. of course, for the m music, uh, uh, obviously, but also just uh, the longevity, the way he, 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 he found, the, how he found a way to like use his success in music to just branch out and, and do uh, other businesses. Creatively, uh, Kanye yeah. was like a, a big change in my life. Like, uh, uh, he, he, it really opened my mind to like seeing music uh, differently. I think it was the case for a lot of people, like mm -hmm. at my age especially, because I used to be like more uh, close-minded when it when it comes to rap and music, and I would see things like in a very square way, and I, uh, I had narrow vision about it, and I thought this is real music, and this yeah. is not, and this is and I, and I think uh, he he uh, he convinced me to like look to. Uh, to other stuff too, and uh, em embrace even the, the the more pop side mm -hmm. of it. I think uh, showed that there was a way to do it that was not uh, that was not corny at all, and, mm -hmm. uh, and that that really changed my outlook and how I make music. I think if we're talking inspiration, and maybe like the guys who made me want to start. So I, I have to name a guy from here. It's called Connaisseur. Okay. And uh, he's like one of the first rapper I think I heard in, in French. Because mm -hmm. I noticed like with your sound and your flow, like you kind of intermingle a bit of French and you put some English in there at the same time. Yeah. Like, did you, did you feel like that was the perfect formula for you? Uh, yeah, I, I think it just came naturally. I'm, yeah. I, I didn't invent that. A lot of people uh, talk and rap like that. Yeah. No, but yeah, I, I think uh, uh, Montreal is, is just a bilingual city, and mm -hmm. like very, very much so. Uh, uh, and most people, I think, it's especially my generation and younger people, everybody speaks en English and French. Yeah. Uh, or most people. Culturally, I think we're kind of in the middle of. Uh, the USA and France as well, mm -hmm. because we have, have a lot of co connection, connections to France and, and Quebec because of you know just the history and, and everything. So we, 
you know, we, we, we still kind of listen to the music uh, that they, they do it o over there. French rap is huge, huge. Yeah. It's like the second biggest market, I think, in, in, uh, for rap and after the United States. So it's I very, didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very big uh, market. Yeah. Like, rap is everything. When you go to, to Paris nowadays, and it, you cannot escape it. It's, it's yeah. everywhere. And it's, so your first solo album, you want a Juno for that. Yes. Right? That's, that's amazing. Your yeah. second solo album, you got nominated for Juno. So clearly people are loving your work. What was that, what was that like to receive you know, those awards? It was amazing. I, I really didn't think uh, uh, I could win uh, like awards outside of mm -hmm. you know the Quebec scene. That, that was a great that was a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely my as far as awards go, my my biggest one. There, no question, the Juno. Yeah. No, it's massive because I think about like other young rappers right now in Montreal. Yes. Right. They kind of look at your story. You've didn't stop. You've never settled. You continue to push the boundaries forward. What advice do you have to like younger rappers, younger francophone rappers in particular? Oh, yeah. And, and it's, it's maybe like too specific uh, mm -hmm. uh, of an advice, but I think uh, I, I would, if I think back on like what helped me in some way when I, when I started, I think you can't underestimate the value of being, being underrated. Mm. And it's like, actually people think it's like the worst position because you know, you're, when you're unknown, you you, you might feel like um, like it's unfair in, in, in some ways, but it's actually a, a very good position to be in because you have the, the ability to surprise. Nowadays, with you know, mm -hmm. social media and the way you can put music, music out so fast, a lot of people just start releasing everything they do. Like they, they just make their first song, they release it, they shoot a video for it, they release it because you can do all this yourself now, nowadays. Yeah. And I think that's... Um, that might not be the always always the best approach. You you have like the uh, the luxury, I think, to work on your stuff mm -hmm. on your own, like in secret, and to just come out of nowhere with like your first very good song or your best one when you kind of feel like you're there. Yeah. How do you think like the Montreal like rap scene differs from like the Toronto rap scene? Well, the Toronto rap scene is. I think now just part of the the the, the international rap scene. Yeah. Like uh, I think it's, it's it's obvious now. I mean, s since Drake, uh, even more, mm -hmm. uh, we have yet to like uh, cross to even even English rappers from from Montreal. We 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 don't have yet like the guy who's gonna make it mm -hmm. outside of the of the scene. So our scene is still like I was saying mm -hmm. uh, in, in the beginning is still very much. Uh, it's it's a bit closed, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a small world. You know, everybody knows each other and, and everything. But we, we we still need that one guy who's gonna like mm -hmm. our Drake, you know, or right. uh, you know, who's gonna like make it outside of, uh, of of Quebec and Montreal. I think to like put us on on the map. What do you think? It, like, what do you think it's gonna take for that person? Maybe it could be you. I don't know. You tell me to to, to reach that level of success to put. That the Montreal rap scene on the map like that. I'm not sure. I mean, like, what do you, is there something missing from the formula? No, I, I don't. I don't think so. But I, I think what we can take from what you guys did in, mm -hmm. in Toronto and from, from what they did uh, uh, with the Toronto sound is to really uh, embrace the fact that we're different. We're mm -hmm. like a culture that's apart in, in in some ways and we are similar in many other ways too so you can you can play on that too but but i think that the the language barriers is, is a very serious thing though it's it's hard for a french rapper to to break in like in the u.s yeah but we we go to france a lot though so it, it it's a you know it's a different path but it's still um it's still very good for our scene so I was wondering, like, do you ever see yourself making potentially like a full English album? I'm not sure. Because your English is pretty good. It's, it's my first in interview in English, though. I, I got to say. It, oh, not, it, not it, a BG show exclusive. Yes. <laughs> we love it exclusive. <laughs> yes. I just learned English to do, to do this. All right now. <laughs> yes. I'm working all Ooh. week. No, no, it's not. It's not yeah, but, it's, but it's my first <laughs> interview in English, yeah, yeah, it is. But I, I'm not sure uh, I should be making music in English. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like it, I could for sure, but I think, like, like I was saying, like, uh, uh, to em embrace what makes you unique. And I think uh, 
speaking French is part of my identity, I, right. I, I would say so, uh, and speaking English as, as well, you know, mm -hmm. like, like we said, we combine it, and we, but I, I think that's what, what makes what I do uh, great, if it is great, is because is uh, it, it's, uh, it's very personal and it's uh, honest, I guess. Yeah. Are, you like, are you working on an album right now? Yeah, I, I'm working on an album right now, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Like, I mean, what you, like, what, what are you writing about now? Like, like, tell me, like, type your content, because my French is horrible. Yeah. Horrible, I think yeah. is how you would say it in French, right? Horrible, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Been your three days. Get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, like, what, what, like, what, what, like, talk to me about the content. Like, what do you write about and rap about? Like, wh where's that inspiration coming from now? I don't know so many things, but I think now more so than than, than before, I really. L I look back more, and I don't know if it's just growing up, like yeah. getting, getting older, but I, not just in music, but in my life in general, I tend to, like, think back more. Yeah. I've always wondered, like, how long does it take a rapper to actually write a full song? How Man, long does it take you? A, uh, too long, <laughs> for my liking. Too What's long. too long? I don't know. It's like, sometimes it, 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 it goes really fast, but, yeah. you know, uh, when I see guys, especially the younger guys and, yeah. and newer generations, like people really got the formula down. Yeah. And, and you, if you look at like the little babies and yeah. and, and, and it, I think it starts at Lil Wayne and, and, and stuff like that, and not even writing and, and yeah. everything. And they, they, they like, they lock down three songs in a day and, and stuff like that. And it, it, sometimes it, it just scares me because I'm, I'm very slow. I'm very mm -hmm. slow. Like I, I work on it all the time, but I, I, just, I don't use most of the, the stuff that I come up with. Do you have a favorite song from your last two albums? Uh, I think Devenir Immortel is my, my, my favorite one. I think it's still my, my best song. Why is that? I don't know. There's just something that clicked with this one. I, I, I think like... All the ingredients are there yeah. in some ways. As far as the, uh, just it, it's really mostly the vibe, but you know the melody. I, I really like the melodies on it. I like the topic. I like the you know just I like the, the simplicity of the verse. But like, it's like you know sometimes I try to to to, to make what I write simpler mm -hmm. and to like. Edit it until until it's like just the 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 the, the basic idea of it, and, and not like a, not like a crazy uh, complex version with metaphors and, and, and punchlines. I try to, to 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 make it as simple as I can. I think on on this one, I got it like to the, to the core. Yeah. Is there any artist out there that you really want to collaborate with for your next album? Yeah, there's a bunch. And I, I mean, I used to like not really do collaborations. Yeah. My first two albums, I, I barely have any collabs, and there's always like the obvious ones. Like I said, uh, Larry Kidd was like my yeah. childhood friend. Like I said, Kanesar was like a like a childhood hero in some yeah. ways. Like the one who really made me uh, start to do this, and he just recently he's made a comeback. So we want to get a song done for sure. I think that would be like a, a nice milestone in, in, yeah. in some way, really in a personal way. This group called 514, which is like 514, I guess, uh, yeah. basically in French. Uh, they're really good, and uh, I have so many, so many people right now. Uh, it, would, it would be hard to say, but when when the album comes, you'll see there there there'll be a, a, a bunch more featuring uh, than than usually. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just throwing it out there. I think it might be cool to see like Loud Cardinal Official do something together. Yeah. Like that English Canada person got a bit of Jamaican. Then you get the francophone coming in, like that could be a crazy, uh, you know, ooh, I was gonna say crazy yeah. ass patty, but that could be a nice little mix or not. Yo, <laughs> I don't want to say patty. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? That would be great. Cardinal is a legend. For yeah, sure. I don't know. I think like that would be like pretty sick. And then that crossover right there, that yeah. mishmash. I really like Belly too from. Uh, yeah, Belly. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's underrated because I guess he's he's pretty. Uh, Pretty big now, but I I feel like he's always in, a bit in the shadows still. Yeah, I think Billy's been really good for for a long time. So I mean, a little bit personal, not to get too nosy, but I mean, I do have a little bit of a big nose. I mean, <laughs> what's going on in your personal life? If the people want to know, I don't know. Right now, I'm really just working. The, uh, I was talking about relationship status. 
Oh, relationship <laughs> status? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> and, and then Are people allowed to slide into your DMs or is that off limits? That is definitely off limits. Okay. Yes, no DMs. No DMs. <laughs> I won't be reading them. <laughs> You can, <laughs> but I, I, I won't. I'm not looking. I love to read people's DMs because, you know, people get messy up in there. <laughs> oh, you, I mean, you're asking if you can read my DMs? No, no. I mean, I, mean, no, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my DMs don't, don't even get that crazy. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty uh, relaxed. In a few years, where do you, when people look back at the Canadian rap music scene, yeah. how would you want them to talk about you? I don't know. That's that's hard for me to 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 say. Like, I don't like. Like, I I don't really have an outside perspective on mm -hmm. on on what I do. I'm I'm so abs absorbed in it, in mm -hmm. it. So it's it's hard for me to say. But um, I I hope that it, I can and like and I say that like in a modest way. But I I hope that I can say that I uh, open doors mm -hmm. like the same way like. The, guys in the 90s really uh, built it up for us by just getting people to listen to rap because yeah. we had a, a, it, it took a long time for uh, for uh, i think people in quebec to catch up and i i hope we can do the same maybe more in a like in an industry kind of way like we maybe open doors for rappers to now uh, aspire to actually uh, make money so i, I I hope that's something that I, I can uh, I contribute to. Well, I mean, just looking at what you've been able to accomplish, your awards, yes. you know, you're clearly a really nice guy. I'm glad I got a chance to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you're somebody to look up to, seriously. Well, I try to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 you tell me, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, Loud, I'm so glad you got to come on the BG show and that we got to have this conversation. Thank you for having me, man. You know, before we end, I love a drink. You know, I love Hennessy. Same. And uh, I kind of had this beside me. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> why not? Yes. <laughs> so Thank cheers you. to you. And cheers to continued success. Cheers.